welcome to Class Act Showbiz for Schools. My name is Krista Louis and I'd like to remind you that this channel is aimed at amateurs ages 8 to 18 who want to learn more about the performing arts and improve their stage performance. So if you're a professional and you're wondering why is this chick telling me stuff I already know, that's probably why. Hi everyone, welcome to Nail Your Singing Audition Part 2, The Audition. <laughs> In this video, I'll give you tips on how to handle yourself on the day. The good news is, if you did adequate preparation, as I described in part one of Nail Your Singing Audition, you should walk out of that audition feeling pretty good about yourself. Or at the very least, you won't want to go live in a hole for the rest of your life. Now, with the advancement of technology, you might have the option of submitting a video for your audition. That's great. Video auditions give you the advantage of submitting your very best take. As for the rest, all the same rules apply as for a live audition. Treat the camera as your panel and give your best performance. Okay, so let's address a few common issues when faced with an audition. At the top of that list, we have nerves. I know, an audition can be nerve-wracking. The problem with nerves is that they make you do all sorts of weird things. So here are a few things you can do to calm those nerves. Meditate. Now if you're not familiar with this ancient yogi practice, just breathe. No, not like that. Panting, however beneficial it may be for our canine friends, will not help you in this situation. Just breathe deeply. Listen to music. Any music. Whatever makes you calm or happy, just put those earphones in and get listening. Distract yourself. Read a book. Okay, I know, this is not 1990. Play a game on your phone. Anything that will keep your mind off what's about to happen in that little room. So now you have a few things to calm your nerves. I would also like to make you aware of a couple of things that will definitely not calm your nerves. Don't listen at the door. Another problem with nerves is that it deletes all sense of rationality. So when you listen at the door and that person before you is so good, all your mind is saying, she's so good, she's so good, I can never do that, she's so good, she's so good, ah! Freak out. Or the person before you might be really bad. And you're thinking, ah, oh, okay. She's not doing very well, it's not going so great, maybe she's nervous, I'm really nervous, oh no, what if I sound like that, I'm going to sound like that, ah! Freak out. Do not pace up and down. Honestly, when has this ever helped? Do not overeat. I know that's a strange one, but I know how it is. You're sitting there waiting and the nerves are sitting right here and all you can think of, man, I could devour this entire packet of chips, steak, chocolate, anything you put in front of me, really, I, I'll eat it. The problem with that is it will affect your vocal quality and also you'll feel so uncomfortable going into your audition. Do not over sing your song. If you have done adequate preparation, you should trust that you are ready for the audition. Taking those last couple of minutes before your audition to sing your song over and over again will just leave you with a tired voice. Do an adequate warm-up and let it be. Okay, so I hope we've calmed those nerves. Time to move on to the moment your audition starts. And that moment is the second you set your foot through that door. I've come up with a list of do's and don'ts that you should apply when you're in the audition room. Let's start with the do's. Do make eye contact. That will make you look really confident. Do introduce yourself. Good manners. Do answer the questions they ask you audibly, please. Don't be freaked out by this. They probably just want to know a couple of things. So now we move on to the don'ts. Things you should really try not to do. Don't talk too much. I get it. Nerves sometimes make you get verbal diarrhea and you get in there and you start talking about yourself and your mother and your dog and what you did yesterday and what you had for lunch and how nice you think everyone looks and it's too much. <laughs> they don't need to know that. Remember why you're here. Don't ask if your friend can audition with you. This is something you need to face on your own. And what if your friend has a better audition than you do? 
that will be pretty obvious if you go in together. Don't start your audition by making excuses for yourself. You might think you're doing yourself a favor by starting your audition with some sort of excuse for your voice or performance, but let me give you a few examples of what we hear when you make the following excuses. Uh, <clears throat> I just want to say I'm a, I've been a bit sick, <clears throat> so please excuse it if my voice cuts <clears throat> out. Eighty percent of the time, being sick does not affect your voice as much as you think it does. And I'm pretty sure your teachers and directors are smart enough to pick up when you have a blocked nose or a croaky voice due to illness. So I know the song is not from a musical like you asked, but I really liked it and I wanted to sing it, so I hope it's okay. I just wanted to say that I only chose the song yesterday, so I didn't have that much time to prepare. We've covered do's and don'ts and you haven't even sung yet. When you get to your song, remember what you prepared and do your best. If you feel like you've made a mistake, feel free to ask if you can do it again. But accept it when they say you can't. It does not mean that they didn't like you. It probably means that you did way better than you thought and they've heard enough. And just remember, they might stop you before you reach the end. Program this into your head. That does not mean that I supped. It really doesn't. Okay, so you've come to the end of your song. What now? Thank them and exit. Do not ask for constant reassurance. If they said thank you, that was great. Or even if they didn't, accept it and leave. Sometimes they just don't have the emotional energy left to let everyone feel that they were amazing. Don't give up. If you feel that that was not your best audition, that's okay. Auditions take practice. Come back next time and try again. Don't give up. And then, after an audition, we often ask ourselves, why? Why did I not sing that note better? Why did I not smile there? Why did I not choose a different song? Why did I not get a callback? Don't torture yourself. Let it go. And if you don't get a callback or the part that you wanted, before you go ask the director, just listen to my standard answer. It's not that you weren't good enough. It's just that someone else was better for that part. And accept it. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of Nail Your Singing Audition, part two, the audition. If you are currently auditioning or sending in an audition video, let me know how it's going. Comment below. I really hope that I gave you some good tips and that you are able to give your very best audition. Watch out for the next videos. There are loads to come. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you soon. Bye.